Hi, I'm Paul Slatkis, Good News Broadcast. I'm speaking to Janice Nessel. Hi, Janice. How are you? Very good. Good, good. Janice is the general manager at the Montauk Manor in Montauk, New York, and she does a great job. How are you today, Janice? Very well, and how are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Uh, I, uh, as you know, have a place in the Montauk Manor, and I love it dearly uh, because it's... Gorgeous. <laughs> What's the history on the on the on the Montauk Manor? It was built by Carl Fisher in 1927 as a resort um, hotel. With um, at that time there was acreage around. They had a indoor polo, which is now the uh, Montauk Playhouse, which is a historic site. Um, down by our parking lot is they had um, a guest house for if you came with your nanny and your children. But it was very high end back then. And he built the towers for himself as well, and mm -hmm. then came 1927, where nothing flew. <laughs> right. And then it sat empty for many years, and back in the early 80s, a company called Cyberdon mm -hmm. um, came in, did reconstruction, and made it into a condominium, mm -hmm. and sold individual condominiums to homeowners, which now we run a resort condominium, we rent mm -hmm. them for homeowners. It's a magnificent place. Uh, Carl Fisher built one of the most uh, has such integrity in his uh, his architecture, and uh, it is run so beautifully. And uh, actually, it's probably the smartest thing. One of the smartest things I ever did, Janice, is buy an apartment over there. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. A hundred percent, because when I inherited a couple of bucks when my family passed away, mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, I took some of it and I, I put it into there, and it's grown the investment uh, beautifully. Even in these times or whatever, it still holds its own because it's. It's, it's that kind of a place that has uh, has it will never you know in essence go away and you guys will all take good care of it. Thank you. you put tremendous amount of effort in maintaining its almost its landmark status, right? Yes. And uh, and the rooms are are, are really well uh, manicured and the hallway. I'm looking at the website MontauqManor.com right now. Mm -hmm. a gigantic. We have two fireplaces, right? Yes, we have two in our lobby. Mm -hmm. And we have then, uh, I'm looking at the outdoor swimming pool. You have an outdoor pool, an indoor pool, and then in the indoor pool areas you have saunas, both men and women mm -hmm. private saunas. Okay. You have a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. You have a full exercise room with Nautilus, right. weights, uh, mm -hmm. treadmills, elliptical mm -hmm. stairmaster. Mm -hmm. We have three outdoor tennis courts, all paved. Right. Fenced in. Mm -hmm. um, we have a small putting green and a driving range, as uh -huh. well as a bocce ball and shuffle ball court. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We have a little bit of everything. <laughs> you do have a little bit of everything. Even have a basket to shoot a couple hoops. Yes, we do. A volleyball court as well. <laughs> It's so, so, so special. And when we look out, we look at what? The Gardner's Bay on uh, on one side? You look out upon Gardner's Bay on one side, Block Island Sound on another, and the Atlantic Ocean towards the front. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. just magnificent. all three views. Now, the sunsets are unbelievable. Didn't we, uh, I love this, uh, right from my apartment, this is, I go wild. I, I didn't know it when I bought it. And all of a sudden, you know, the sun is setting in the summertime out of, uh, out of the view of my apartment and most, most of the apartments. And there goes the sun. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. It is so, so beautiful. The, uh, uh, something new I think we have up there, right, is the uh, spa? We have an indoor spa that uh, Deborah Thompson who has a day spa in town as well, mm -hmm. runs here on the property for us. Right, okay. We have a full-service restaurant yeah, as well. Great food. Mm -hmm. Wonderful food there as well. And yeah. they, have, they, have, they have like a buffet in the, in, in, uh, on the weekends? On the weekends, um, sometimes it's a buffet breakfast, sometimes it's sit down, but it's really nice just to go out and get a cocktail or a dessert and sit by the fireplace in the winter and just kind of hang out and relax. There's a, a baby grand self-playing piano in our lobby. Right, <laughs> Which I like to play every once. Well, we know uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the scientists don't play, we we let you play once. <laughs> Big joy for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then what? Another thing that's really nice. I know we have uh, um, in I know in our apartment, uh, but most of the apartments we have. You have the ability. You have the DVDs. You have uh, you have tapes. You have games. Yeah, it's a, it's a. We have it's a, a library in the. Um, in the lobby as well with books you can take and borrow and mm -hmm. you need to borrow them and just forward them back to us or drop one off and right. borrow one of ours that's fine too <sighs> we have state-of-the-art meeting facilities down on our lower level right um, 
AV equipment, um, everything that you would need to hold your corporate meetings. Right. And it's um, just a totally different atmosphere, you know. You come out here to do a little business as well as relax, maybe go fishing, take a walk at the beach, a hike, or you can do a little bit of everything. There's no doubt about it. And one of the nice things, the way I get out there is I take the train. And the old choo-choo train is like uh, down the hill, you know, uh, and in essence, uh, well, we have a uh, like a little shuttle uh, yeah. We have a shuttle that drives you anywhere within the town of Montauk. Mm -hmm. So if you come out either on the um, Long Island Railroad or the Hampton Jitney, right, which is a stop right in town, mm -hmm. we can just pick you up and bring you to the manor. You don't even need a vehicle. Right, right. And that is gorgeous because the combination of that simplicity, you know, you don't have to fight the LIE, which I think is one of the, the larger parking lots in the, in the country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, on, definitely. On the Coming weekend. out if you hit it the wrong time, you've, you're out for hours. <laughs> on the weekend. Um, on the other hand, the we are the end, or some people say the beginning of Long mm -hmm. Island, right? And uh, in addition to all those good kinds of things, which are wonderful, you have, we're very close to uh, the Gossman's Dock, right, down? In about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile from Gossman's Dock, which right. is a, has gorgeous restaurants and stores and all mm -hmm. kinds of um, open-air dining and it's fantastic, and we have also, uh, what I love is, uh, uh, but I haven't done it, it'll be a later on in life kind of thing, become a fisherman. <laughs> oh, the fishing's unbelievable out here. Even in the off-season this time of year, the codfish was um, just very unbelievable, you know, really good this year. Like right now, now, uh, now first of all, let me make sure, I, uh, this is, uh, we're, we're, we're all four seasons, we're all year, th every, every day, we're all, all, all year. four seasons, we're well, all 365 days a year. Right, right. Oh, great golf course. Uh, uh, Trent Jones mm -hmm. uh, designed golf course down the street also. Yeah, and they stay open late in the season. They open up very early. They're getting ready to open now, I think, by like the beginning of April, mid-April they open, and they're all ready to start rolling. And but They fish year-round. The Viking fleet goes out year-round. Mm -hmm. They do winter cod fish, wreck trips. Mm -hmm. um, they do fish you around out here. Oh, it's beautiful. And then you take a little ride out to the lighthouse. Actually, I had heard that 20% of the uh, of Montauk is the only, uh, approximately 20% only is occupied with uh, uh, housing. That I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're talking about the lighthouse, even during the um, holiday season, they did a beautiful job. They lit up the lighthouse this year. Uh -huh. There must have been, um, I think they said 10,000 visitors. Wow. It was an a it's a little it's two miles from town, and it was like an hour drive. Wait to get out to see it. It was absolutely gorgeous. On the way out to the lighthouse, we have the uh, the oldest cattle ranch in America. Deep Hollow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the Deep Hollow, right? They do beautiful beach rides, an hour and a half beach rides, mm. you know, so you can go some, do some horseback riding, go right down on the beach. It's <laughs> gorgeous. They have those horse, uh, I've, I haven't never done that one. I've wanted to do it. That one of those hay rides. They have the hay rides and they have the um, Teddy Roosevelt uh, reincarnation. They do the luncheon and they do out in the um, they take you out in the trails and they put you out. They do barbecues and things. It's absolutely that's fun too for the family. Uh, I'm all smiles here, Jen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do in Montauk? You just have to have the time. To uh, spend out here. That's true, and it's close by, which is good. So mm -hmm. it's an environmentally friendly area. Lots of parks. The Hither Hills. You can walk and walk and walk and. Uh, We've been out on East Lake and West Lake Drive. There's tons of tons of state parks and trails. Right, right, and then the famous Ditch Plains. You have surfer, sur mm -hmm. surfer heaven. You're a surfer. That you got it made out. <laughs> yeah. Paul, you got the surf casting and the official and the it's, bath off the beach. Yeah, it's a lot of great stuff. Well, Dan Janice, you do a great job at the manor. Thank it's you. as as classy as it can get. It over a big hill on the top there, and uh, it's a big Tudor mansion. I'm going to send people to the uh, to the website. And uh, do we have any specials coming up well, over there? A great special now. Um, now through May 21st, with no blackout dates, includes weekends or midweek. You stay any con four consecutive nights, and you're only paying for two, so that's a 50% discount. Whoa. For two nights, you stay four nights, and only pay for two. Where, when is that through? That's now valid through May 21st, till okay. Friday before Memorial Day, and it is valid over the weekends, over the next week for the holiday when the children are out of school, for Easter, Passover, it's valid all through there. Do it, do it, do Alrighty. it. <laughs> All right, Janice. And we have an indoor
a pool that's open, so for your kids, it's great. Ah, uh, it's magnificent. Now, and you have two bedrooms, uh, one bedrooms and studios, all different. Two bedrooms, two bedrooms. All with kitchen facilities Full as kitchens. well. Full kitchens. You can. You don't have to go out to breakfast, lunch, and dinner every night. You can do some cooking here if you want to on vacation. Mm-hmm. All righty, Janice. Thanks so much. All right. Appreciate Paul, you thank sharing. Thank you. It. Thanks. Okay, bye bye.